Now let's learn some relation between trigonometric ratios in which we are going to prove sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Suppose this is a right angle triangle ABC. Angle A is say theta. Of course angle C is going to be 90 minus theta. Angle B is 90 degree. Then sine theta as we know sine theta is perpendicular so BC over the hypotenuse AC. Similarly cos theta equals the base which is AB over the hypotenuse AC. In the left side of the identity I have sine square theta plus cos square theta which equals sine square theta is BC whole square over AC square I can also write it as square over C square. And now, sine theta and cos theta, their squared value is written there. AC square, AC square being common in the denominator, I can make them or I can write them as BC square plus AB square. By the Pythagoras theorem, AB square plus BC square equals AC square. So this also equals AC square over AC square gives you 1. So sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1. Similarly, we can define other trigonometric relations also which are expressed as from the first relation itself we can express sine square theta as 1 minus cos square theta similarly cos square theta can be expressed as 1 minus sine square theta these are all relations derived from the single relation sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1 similarly the second relation which we have is sec square theta minus 10 square theta equals 1 the explanation is similar to as given before Similarly, we have cosec square theta minus cot square theta equals 1. All the other trigonometric ratios or the relations are just revolving around the, these three relations. First, second and this is the third one. All others are just derived from these trigonometric relations.